Hi boys and girls, today we're gonna have so much fun. Do you know what we're gonna be talking about today? Look behind me. We're gonna be learning about outer space and the eight planets, the letter O, and guess what? And things that give us light. Are you ready for some fun? I know I am, let's go. Boys and girls, today we're going to be learning about outer space. What's outer space? We have the sun and the eight planets. Now the eight planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Those are the eight planets. Now you know what these eight planets do? They travel around the sun. Now the sun is a ball of fire. Now, this, And also it stays still. It's not a planet. It doesn't move. So the eight planets just go around it. Now, I'm going to be teaching you today about the first two planets from the sun. Are you ready? Here I go. Mercury. Mercury is the first planet from the sun. Now, Mercury is the size of our moon. That planet is very hot because it's closer to the sun. It also spins really, really fast. Now, I wonder if this planet has any moons. Let me ask Miss Amato. Miss Amato? Yes? Does Mercury have any moons? Zero moons. So Mercury doesn't have any moons. Okay, good to know. Now let's go to our second planet. Our second planet is Venus. Now Venus is the same size as our planet Earth. Isn't that cool? But it spins backwards and it's very hot. I wonder if it has any moons. Miss Amato? Yes? Does Venus have any moons? Zero moons. No moons. Wow. So Mercury and Venus do not have any moons. Isn't that good to know? So Mercury and Venus do not have any moons. Wow, good to know. You know what else? No one can live on these planets because they're too close to the sun. I wouldn't like to live there. Boys and girls, I hope you had a good time learning about Mercury and Venus. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready to practice writing the letter O? Now, the letter O is in the alphabet and it's between the letter N and P. But O is so simple to write. Are you ready? We start at the top. Ready? Capital O. Top, go around, capital O. Wasn't that easy? Let's do lowercase O. Top, go around, lowercase O. That was so simple. Practice at home, okay, boys and girls? See you later. Bye. story for today is the eight little planets. Now this story is going to tell us a little bit something about each planet. Are you ready? I know I am. Let's see what they tell us. Eight little planets. Eight little planets going around the sun. Could these little planets be having much fun? Eight little planets with the sun at the center. Does each one wish it were a little bit better? All oh, slow Neptune looks a bit behind. Orbiting the sun takes an awful long time. But the eighth little planet doesn't need to worry. It spins on its axis in a really big hurry. So this is the eighth planet from the sun. Oh boy. I see Uranus seems really quite shy. It looks a bit weird spinning on one side. It does spin on one side. Look at it. But the seventh little planet still feels bold. It is pretty cool to be the most cold. It's very cold in that planet because it's so far away from the sun. Look at that. Silly old Saturn looks far too busy. All those moonlets should make a planet dizzy. But the sixth little planet loves all those things. They help give the planet such beautiful rings. See the rings? It looks like a hula hoop. Look at this spaceship. <laughs> Big stormy Jupiter looks way down with mass. Four octillion pounds is a lot of gas. But the fifth little planet doesn't feel down. Not with so many friendly moons around. This planet, Jupiter, has a lot of moons. Look at all those moons. Ooh, I wonder how many. We'll learn about that. 
Dry red Mars looks a bit rusty. All those storms can make a planet dusty. But the fourth little planet never sheds a tear. It has the tallest mountain of any planet here. Oh wow, it has a tall mountain. Look at him. <laughs> Pale blue Earth should be filled with strife. It must be hard being home to all this life. But the third little planet doesn't feel tense. It is quite proud to be the most dense. This is our planet Earth, boys and girls. See, look, it has water and land and we can live here. Yes. Every Venus must feel rather fraught. 900 degree temperatures sure are hot. Wow, that's a hot planet. But the second little planet never cries. It loves being the brightest planet in the sky. Oh, Noble can live there. So hot. Look at his sunglasses. And he has lemonade. <laughs> That's cute. Super fast Mercury could sing a sad tune. It must get lonely without any moons. But the first little planet never feels bad. Being closest to the sun is reason to be glad. Oh, so he's the closest to the sun, Mercury. Look at that. Eight little planets with the sun at the center. Proud to be unique, nothing could be better. Eight little planets going around the sun, being happy what they are and ready for some fun. They're ready for some fun. This is a great story, boys and girls. They told us a little bit about every planet. Hope you had fun. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi boys and girls, today's activity, we are going to have two art activities. Now the first one is going to be a rocket ship with your name on it, that's really cool. And the next one is going to be a headband that's going to have the sun and our eight planets. But first let's start with the rocket ship. Now a rocket ship is the type of transportation that goes out of space and it helps us figure out what's going on out there. Now let's look at the things that we need for our rocket ship. We need the blue piece of paper. We need the stars. I don't know what color stars you have, but I have green stars here. Isn't that cool? Green stars. Then we have some squares, colorful squares, and we have a triangle. We have glue, and the markers that we need are green, um, no, not green, is red and orange. Why did I say green? Maybe because the basket is green? I don't know. But it's orange and red. Okay, are you ready now? Now, this is what you're going to do. You're going to be putting the rocket ship together. This is how it's going to be. How many letters are in your name? Think about it. Think about your name and think about the letters. Now mine, is, my name is Michelle. So I have eight letters in my name. M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. So if you look at the squares, I'm gonna need eight squares to put on the rocket ship. It's gonna look like this. Now you have to think of your name. Your name has different, a different amount of letters. Now the first thing I'm going to put is the triangle on top. Then I'm going to put the eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because there's eight letters in my name, okay? Now, let me glue this down so you'll know how this is going to look. Oh, this is so cool. Now, while I'm doing this, you are counting the letters in your name. And let's see how many squares you need. Here we go, one, two, three. Oh, this is cool, I have a lot of letters in my name. Oh, let's see, I'm almost finished. And you see how close I'm putting them together? I'm not putting them on top of each other. No, I want this to look like a cool rocket ship, yes! Now, this is what I'm going to do. I am, you know what I forgot, boys and girls? to get the black marker because I need to write the letters in my name on each square. Here we go. Now, first letter is M, I, C, H, E, L, L, E. Michelle, isn't that cool? Oh boy, let's see. Now, rocket ships, when they blast off, they have some fire that comes out from the bottom. So I am going to use the red one and the orange just to make fire. Let's see. Let's do this one now. Look at that. It looks like a real rocket ship. Yes, with my name on it. 
Okay, I'm gonna put this here. Now, for the stars, I'm going to put it all around. Pretend it's already out of space. And out of space, you see stars. You can put the stars wherever you want. Now, some of you must be thinking, Miss Figueroa, are we, we gonna put our name on the paper? No, why should we? Look, the name is already on the rocket ship. Look at this. Oh, look at, oh my goodness, this is a lot of stars. We're out of space, boys and girls. Let's see, one more star. So what do you think, guys? It looks cool. Now remember, for this spaceship, you need to count the letters in your name and then you put how many squares you need, okay? Now me, I needed eight. I don't know how many you need, so figure that one out, okay? Remember, take a picture and put it on Schoology, okay? Now for our second art activity, we're gonna make a headband and we're gonna put the sun and the planets. But the only planets we're gonna put on today are Mercury and Venus, the first two planets that we learned about. Are you ready? Here we go. Now this is what you need for this activity. You will need two strips of the black paper. You're gonna need the white paper that has all the numbers on it and the circles, those are our planets. We need the yellow circle. We need the stars and glue, scissors, and crayons. Do you have it? Okay, let me just put this to the side, the stars. And here we go. We're gonna put the head, the, we're gonna put the strip that's the thickest right in front of us. The one that's a little bit thinner, we're gonna put it to the side. But we're gonna get the thicker one. Now what we're going to do, we're gonna cut the sun out first. Now this is our sun. We're gonna pretend this is our sun. Let me put this to the side as well. And here we go. Let's cut the sun out first. Now it's a circle. Remember the sun is a ball of fire. It's not a planet, but it's very hot. So let's just follow the line here. Put this to the side. Let's glue the sun to the beginning of this paper. Here we go. Well, really the strip of paper right here. To the beginning, that's the first one, okay? Now, the first planet is number one. The first planet is Mercury. So let's cut Mercury out, because that is the first planet from the sun. Oh, this is gonna be a little tricky here. Let's see, this is the smallest planet. Oh, an outer space. I'm almost there, guys, I'm almost there. Now this one, uh-oh, almost slipped. So since this is the first planet from the sun, we're gonna put it right there. What do you think, guys, right? Okay, so this is Mercury. Let's put Mercury right here. Now Mercury, what I've seen in pictures, that Mercury is a little brown. It has a little bit of brown in it. So let's just put a little bit, not a lot, around. Let's scatter the brown around. Like it? Okay, Mercury. Now the second planet from the sun is Venus. Are you ready? So you see number two? That's the one I'm gonna be cutting out, number two. Going around. Now Venus is also too close to the planet, to the, not the planet, it's too close to the sun, so no one could live there. Just like Mercury, no one could live there. And it's the same size as our planet Earth. So let's put some glue on Venus. Put it right there. And also Venus has a little bit of brown, but a little bit darker, because I heard that it has mountains. I have no idea, I've never seen it. So let's see. Okay, now we put the sun and the two planets, Mercury and Venus. Next time we're gonna add the other planets. So remember, save this in a safe place because we're gonna continue with it later on. Okay, boys and girls? See you later, bye. Hi, boys and girls. Today we're gonna be talking about light. I know it's dark in here, but I want to show you things that give us light. Now let's think about when we're outside. What gives us light outside? The sun, the moon, and stars give us light. Now there's other things that give us light as well. I have a flashlight here. I know you guys have this at home. Look at this. This is bright. It gives us light. Look at that. And it has different settings. Ah, I'm gonna keep it like this. Here's something else that gives us light. Light bulbs. These are light bulbs that you have at home and when your light goes out, mom and dad change the light bulb and you get brighter light. Now, there's some things in your house that give you more light as well. Miss Amato, I think we have something here that gives us light. Ooh, I think I, I, think I know. Do you something. know what it is? Yeah, yeah, now yeah. we're gonna look at it. Now also, of course, the lights 
and the ceiling gives us light, but we turn them off to find out. Wait, what did you find? Uh oh, oh, Miss. Oh, yeah, this thing's cool. Okay, Miss Amato found something. Oh, that gives us light. It does. Guys, that's cool. See, boys and girls, look around your house to see what else gives you light, okay? Light is really special to us. We need light, right? I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Did you have fun today? Today, we talked about outer space. And we learned about the eight planets that travel around the sun. Isn't that something? Now the two planets that we learned about today was Mercury and Venus. Now those two planets are the closest to the sun and they're very hot. Can we live there? No, we cannot. We also reviewed the letter O. Remember, top to bottom and around. Good job. The book we read today was the eight little planets. Now in that story, they taught us that Uranus is a very cold planet, but we'll learn more about that planet later on. The learning activity today was about light sources, things that give you light, like the sun, the moon, a flashlight. Wasn't that cool to know? Yes, now there's other things in your house that also give you light, so find it, okay? Boys and girls, thank you for being with me. I'll see you later. Bye.